Good afternoon, His Excellency Li Cheng, the Director General of Belgium Group and the President of Belgium International University. To all the, the management team and to all the judges and of course to all my other participants. Today I have something very important that I would like to share with all of you here. It is very important not only for us but for our future generation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my topic, which is how does industrialization affect our nature? So what do, what do I mean by industrialization? Industrialization uh, is the creation of factory and machine, which dated in the early 19th century. It was the transformation from the agricultural society into the one, into the industrial society. So to make it easier to understand, it is the changes of using machine instead of using our hand. And what is nature? Well, nature is our surrounding, which is not made by human. And what are they? They are the air, the water, the mountain, the ocean. So what I'm going to share with all of you is about the fight of the start of the factory against our beautiful nature. And how bad is the effect? Well, I'm going to raise three most vital effects, and then we'll see how bad it is. Firstly, the effect of the industrialization is water pollution. Factory releases water that is made with uh, harmful chemicals and it is released to the ocean, to the river, and more importantly, to the ground where we live. For instance, in Cambodia, most factories are built near people's home, and then when they release the waste water, they release it to the ground near the home of people, which cause so many problems. And we also know that water is our survival. We need to drink water. And there is only 2.4% of fresh water in the universe. And most of them are groundwater. So if we keep polluting the ground, what will happen? Secondly, it is the air pollution, which you can see in the picture. This is mostly happened in the developed countries like America and China, but not in Cambodia yet. And it has killed thousands of people every year. The pollute the air that comes from the factory is full of CO2, which is the carbon dioxide. And it is it caused so many problems like acid rain and also many health problems. But most importantly, it depletion the ozone layer, which will lead to the global warming. And thirdly, factory nowadays are not built in the city because it costs us, it costs them a lot. So they decided to, to build it in uh, far away, uh, for example, like the mountain. So how can they get all of the land to build a factory? Well, they cut down all of the trees and burn all the forest, which we call deforestation. Trees are important for us. It can produce the oxygen and absorb the CO2. It is also the home for all kinds of wildlife animals. So if we cut down all of the trees, where will the animal live? Then we will witness the wildlife extinction. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you see how bad it is of the industrialization with our nature? It causes water pollution, air pollution, global warming, deforestation, and wildlife extinction. And there is still a lot more. So in the future, if the industrialization grow more and more and there is no solution to stop them, what will happen to our life? What will happen to all of the life on the earth? Imagine this. If one day we come out of our home, all we can see is black smoke and no tree and no animal. All we can smell is CO2 and no oxygen. All of the water are polluted and can't be drink and the weather is getting hotter and hotter. So can we survive? So we need to find a solution. But who is responsible for all of this? My answer is very easy. Only one word with five syllables. H-U-M-A-N. Which is our, the human. Because we were the one who created the industrialization. So we are the one that needs to find a solution to stop it. And we need to find it sooner rather than later. Because if we don't, then it will be all over for all of us. And remember, no matter how important industrialization is for us, our nature is even more precious. Thank you so much, Jennifer. As you know, 
the industrialization so the human being to be the people and the nature also serve us. And what is your recommendation to solve the problem? To quit all industrialization, we cannot. The population is growing every day. The demand is growing every day. So can we stop the industrialization? No, we cannot. But we have to find the solution to reduce the pollution. The water pollution, we can create a water system that can purify the water that, is, that has chemicals into the water that can be drained. The air pollution, we can find a chemical that can purify the CO2 into the oxygen. So that is my answer. Thank you. Um, do you think uh, we should give up on planet Earth and just move to Mars instead? Just very easy. Absolutely no. We cannot give up our Earth because Earth is the only planet that people can live on. There is no other planet that has the oxygen, that has the tree, that has the water, that has the air that we can live. So we cannot give up our Earth. The only thing we can do is try to protect our Earth and reduce all the pollution. And remember that industrialization is good, but our nature is still better. Thank you so much.